Hey, what's going on, y'all? Uh, today I got a pretty delicious drink. It's called the Surfer on Acid. Uh, it's pretty simple. So what I'm going to start out with is uh, Tropic Isle Palms Coconut Rum. <clears throat> it's a 21% alcohol. This is what it looks like. So typically people would get Malibu. Uh, I personally don't like Malibu too much. It's a little bit too sweet for me. So I, I feel like Malibu kind of tastes like, like a snow cone syrup. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more of a rum and not so corn syrup, snow cone juice syrup type deal, try this one out. It's pretty good. I like it. It's delicious. And then we're going to use uh, Jägermeister. It's a German li liqueur. It's kind of like a herbal, it says botanicals, so if that be correct, herbal. Herbal liqueur, but it kind of has like a, like a coffee-ish, black licorice, yeah, herbal liqueur. That'd be the flavor. If you've never had it, that's how I would kind of describe it. Some people don't like Jaeger, and some people do, but I like it. So we're gonna use equal parts. You can use like one ounce per, but because of the size of the glass that I'm using, it's kind of big. So I'm gonna use ounce and a half. And then some pineapple juice. Dull pineapple juice, it says 100%. Now obviously, if, if, you know, the best thing you could do is grab a fresh pineapple and juice it, but pineapple is kind of pain in the ass to, you know, cut up and try to juice, so I typically just go for the can. If it was a different fruit, though, I probably would squeeze it myself, but, uh, and whenever we're buying juices, I would say try to buy the can or, or the smaller packages, should I say. It comes with small plastic bottles or cans. Get those because you know you crack this thing open, you make a few drinks, and you're good. If I get a big old can and I crack it open, I'm probably gonna let the rest spoil in the fridge for you know however long. So at least these, you always have fresh juice, or not fresh juice, but you always have juice in, in your cabinet. Anyways, ounce and a half, ounce and a half, ounce and a half. And then we're just gonna squeeze the lime in there. That's not part of the original, I guess, recipe, but it tastes better. So, Let's get started. Put some ice in our shaker. So like I said, I'm probably use an ounce or ounce and a half. I'm doing an ounce and a half because of the size of the cup. I'm kind of like one of those dudes where if I make a drink, I'm not trying to make it with just one ounce of alcohol inside my drink. I like to get a big enough, I guess, drink where I ain't gotta make that too many so I can get a good little buzz off of two or three and that's it. So. And then if you got a line, this is a pretty big size line. Just 
This is how much I'm gonna squeeze in it. Oop, shit. But squeeze it in there. That's it. Nothing crazy. I mean, I, I, I could have squeezed more juice out of it, but I'm not trying to make it super like lime limeade or anything. I just want to give it just a little bit of a hint of, of lime in there. Kind of looks like a like a frothy tea or like an iced coffee type. Kind of like, I don't know. And then you can garnish with the a, a lime still if you'd like. So it looks like. Oh yeah, that's a smooth drink. I can drink this pretty damn quick. Probably so quick that, to be honest, I'd probably make it in a big old tall glass. Just make it like a big old batch because this is one of them drinks that are super smooth and I could, like I said, throw it down pretty damn quick. So, mm. I think the, like I said, originally the lime is not supposed to be in the drink. It's just used as garnish. But um, if uh, if you like Jaeger, you'll like it. I, I, I still like it without the lime juice, but you just have a little bit more of that Jaeger flavor. Um, you squeeze a little bit of lime in there and it just kind of mellows it out. You can, then you can kind of just taste everything real even. So highly recommend just a little good squeeze. Not, not super like you're trying to make it a limeade or anything, but. Mm. So that's the surfer on acid. Go ahead and try it out. If you're a Jaeger drinker, I'm pretty damn sure you're gonna like this one. If you're not a Jaeger drinker, I still think you're gonna like this one. Even if you use the, the lime. Uh, and like I said, go ahead and try this one out, this coconut rum, instead of Malibu. I bet y'all like it. All right, y'all. Well, uh, go ahead and try it out, and let me know if it's good or if it's not. All right, peace.